Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. Today I'm going to be making another video on Monsters of Etheria. This is actually regarding the map remaster that we hopefully get soon. I'm actually making the video because of this image that's on screen right here for you guys. You could kind of say that Ugly Paul told me to make this video. But yeah, I'm going to be going over a series of images which are leaked of the new map in this video. And um, yeah, let's get to it. So the first image is of a new windmill that has been added to Etheria. So this area right now, right behind the windmill are those houses which I believe to be outside the deep marine community. So if you look at the bottom of the windmill base, there's actually crates and in between those crates is the builder, well, of the new map remaster. And I actually do believe that the windmill spins. Obviously you can see that the landscape and the trees have changed as well. But yeah, that's it for this image. Moving on to the next one. Don't mind the size of this image, it's just that the aspect ratio has changed because it was probably taken on a different software. But this appears to be inside the deep marine community, as you can see that the houses have been remodeled and obviously the pathway and the grass. And you get a closer up look at the trees and I still think the map remaster does look quite good. Now moving on to the next image. Now this is inside the lab I believe, I'm not exactly sure where. But if the entire underground lab area looks like this, I do have to commend Ralph for his building skills because I would really love to go and explore this entire underground and I can't wait for the new map to be released and hopefully we do get it very very soon. Now moving on to the next image. So this appears to be a new area in the map and I actually have no idea where this would even be because obviously the map's been changed a bit so I can't really think of massive areas of space that they need to fill this in because this building seems quite big compared to um, the eye zone over there. But yeah, this building seems to be like a church-like structure and I'm quite interested into what exactly it is because you can't really see where it is from the background. But um, yeah, moving on to the next image. So this image right here is a mix of different areas and there's a lot to go through. But first of all, I think the material that the Aizun is standing on may be related to the church somehow. I'm not sure if it's a roof, but it could possibly be. And I think behind the text bubble is probably where Ellie's quest is with for Tarut. And you can see the desert area right there. And I think they've remastered the sand temple and possibly turned it into a pyramid. If they have, I'm actually really excited for that. Now, moving on to the next image. So this image right here is obviously a slide. Now I can only assume this is in the deep marine community since it's got bigger in the previous images. There's probably space for this, but I'm interested in how they would f trigger these animations for going down the slide. But um, yeah, there's not much I can say about this image besides give me your toes. But um, next image. So before I even talk about the map here, this image itself is a Jojo reference with Silverfang31 taking on the role of Dio and Ugly Po taking on the role of Jotaro. It's a reference to the Oh You're Approaching Me meme. Obviously, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, I love it. And that's that's really all I have to say about this image is from the Deep Marine community. <laughs> Just another tree and probably a lamppost uh, there in the background, but yeah, next image. This area, I believe, right now is the Crystal Cavern, which is obviously just out the back of Deep Marine Community. And obviously, they've made this bigger as well because you can see that it goes along for a lot further and they've added a rail cut into it rather than the last one, which is just a small enclosed area with the leading to the underground. Obviously, there's barrels, light, and the crystals have a better glowing effect on it, I'd say. So, yeah, <laughs> there's Ralph posing for the photo. But, um, yeah, next image. So the next one is a glimpse of the forest area. There's not really much for me to say about this one besides the fact there's loads of trees, but it's nice to have a glimpse of a different area, and there's not much we can tell from the background of this, so they've probably made the forest bigger, but I can't wait to like explore the map and like not recognize any of it. Okay, next image. Now for this image, I feel like it's located in the beach area, which is either when where you can access the lift to go to Zark, or the beach area behind the deep marine community. From this image, I'm not too sure, but I can tell they've updated the looks of the water and obviously added crates, a barrel and a palm tree. And I think they've added a walkway along it as well. So I guess it looks more beach-like. Well, yeah, moving on to the next image. 
So this image I'm assuming is also in the Crystal Coven. There appears to be a radioactive area, so there's probably a potential for a new monster unlock. The only reason I'm assuming it's the Crystal Coven is because of the crystal in the top left corner. But I wonder if you can get past this uh, barricade somehow. Maybe a monster move I'm trying to think of. I'm not sure uh, as of this moment, nothing's coming to me. Possibly Rock Smash. Do, do Ethereum still have the move Rock Smash? But um, yeah, moving on to the next image, which I believe is the final one. So I literally just said in the previous image, wondering if you can get through here, and you probably can due to the fact that Uglyport is standing on this boulder of rocks. But this blacked out area to the left, I think that's an entrance to the, a new entrance to the underground that you normally have to use Defog to get to, and meet Jane and unlock Vampiro. But yeah, I'm glad that they've expanded on like small little areas like the Crystal Cavern. They've made it a lot bigger right now, and along with the beach as well, I think, and the forest. But I'm really happy about the map remaster, so next image. So this is the final image, and I'm not entirely sure where this could be. When I look at it, the only thing that comes to mind is the maze area where you can actually unlock Kitsukura via the pink trees. But yeah, please do let me know your thoughts about the map remaster in the comments. Are you excited for it as I am? And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Please like, subscribe, and see ya.